Celestial Blessings, this is Helen Demetriou and um, I'm going to show you my art that I've been doing as promised. Now the first thing I'd like to show you is I made another goddess. Um, I still don't know what I want to do with her yet, I don't know if I want to paint her um, or leave her as she is, as you know it's similar to the, the red clay one that I made. And I'm making this one to put outside because I'm going to make some outdoor altars and I'll show you those in future videos. So I don't know whether to paint her green or to leave her as she is and just file her down. She's not ready yet as you can see all the cracks. But again she's a moon goddess and I made that out of white clay. And the next thing I've been doing is a lot of painting. I'll try and bring this close so you can see. Um, oh, I can't get into view. This one I made for um, one of my friends and my students. And it's a grail, a chalice. And it has a lot of deep meaning. For me, I was guided to do this. It has. I haven't finished it yet, I've got to go over it. But as you can see, it has the initial in the angelic script of my student. And it has writing in the angelic script, which I need to go over with. And also, I don't know if you can see that, it's cuneiform Persian script. And it's just got writing over that. And I was inspired to do that for my, for my student, for my dearly beloved friend. So that's one of the things I did. The other thing I did was, um, now remember, I'm not a fantastic artist. I just do what I want and go with what I'm doing. I use different materials. This is called the cat and the candle. And... Um, it's on canvas and I made it with um, children's paints that's because all, that's all I've got I can't be bothered to go to the art shop <laughs> and you can see here for the eyes it's got green glitter and the spider web I did with glitter and I just painted that with children's paints they're in a block you know the ones in the blocks I'll bring it a little bit closer so I'll show you a little bit more and uh, I've got to dust off the cat, you can't see, but it's got flecks of gold. I really love glitter and sparkly things, that's how I am. I've never would have, I would have never been, you know, a classical, um, even though I love classic art, that's my favourite. I like using different things to make art. And then the next thing I've done, in my absence, I've been studying the Green Lady or the green woman and um, I was inspired to use again glitter and stars let me just try and move it so you can see it better I don't know if you can see it, let me just check yeah so I was inspired to show that even though she's from of the earth, she is the earth, she's so connected with the stellar uh, energies and the sky and the moon. As you can see, she's like Mother Earth. I've put a beautiful um, red glitter heart over her genital, over her production productive organ <laughs> and I really love art which depicts the naked body because I think the body is beautiful and I made the roses and the vines uh, we painted them and then I put glitter over them because as I said I love glittery things oh I love it you know it's fantastic for me I'm in heaven I don't know what I'm going to do with these paintings. The one of my, for my student, I'm going to give that to him. And I don't know if I'm going to put them in the wall of my 
as my therapy room or what I'm going to do with that. And I'm going to make some more but I run out of canvases. <laughs> so the next thing I wanted to show you was I've been working on some boxes because I don't have the money to spend on elaborate boxes to hold my incense and my resins. So I decided to use an old shoe box. But it's not a shoe box, I always keep, I'm a hoarder, I keep boxes and jars and I've started to decorate it. Let me just see if you can see that. Okay, I started to jet decorate it. This is for my incense. You know, I'm, I'm, I just buy what I, if I can get anything, if I've got anything, I'll use that. And in there I just have my incenses. So it's just a basic shoe box, but I just made it a little bit more fancier. And this one I haven't finished, it's for my resins. Um, I'm going to decorate that. And inside it has all my charcoals and the resins that I have in the house. I've got more in my therapy room because I, I use so much. And I'll be putting my dried herbs in there also. And this box was for it was my wedding anniversary on the 30th of May. And my husband bought me Alien by Angela by Terra Nugler because my favourite perfume is um, my favourite perfume is Angel by Terra Nugler. But he bought me Alien, which I do like a lot. Another thing I wanted to show you is something I bought. Um, these little things, they're basically, you take off the, the lid, it comes with a sachet of herbs, and you just put them in and water them. Now, this one I was growing from before, it's lavender. It's taking forever to grow, but I've read that lavender seeds do take ages. That's a new one that's just started now. And I'm just waiting for these roses. I mean, I don't really know. It says it's the rutilus rose, which I need to Google that and find out exactly what kind of rose is going to be growing. And I'm keeping those outside, but I just brought them in for you to have a look. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I've got a lot more things I'm going to be creating. That's what I've been doing while I've been away. And I found true peace and spiritual connection when I was doing my art. And uh, I can't wait to start doing the uh, altar outside and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that and it's going to be quite surprising for you as well. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.